Whoa, look at this. So, welcome to another video. This is an important, important com confliction that's happened up in this place. So, right, the other day, I had this weird dream. I woke up on Sunday and I was like, Sunday, like a week ago, or whatever. And I was like, whoa, I'm in an alternate dimension. Then I went to work, right, and I was like, everything was weird, everything was different at work, and it was really strange. And then I was like walking about, and I'm like, whoa, this is quite the weird thing. And that night, there was a grey, it was in my dream, it was in my head, it was just there, and it was, it was telepathically, like, speaking to my fucking third eye, right? And I was like, he was saying all this weird stuff. And he was all like, wait, what is this? Oh, my Let's chill, right? So it made a white flash. And then he was like, dude, we should play some we should play some gammas on Steam. And I'm like, you can't play gammas on Steam, you're an alien. You can't you can't have a Steam account, dude. You live on the Mars or whatever. And he's like, no, I'm from an alternate dimension. And I'm like, well, an alternate dimension, really. That's quite the intense thing. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh dude. And I'm like, okay, let's play CSGO. So then like I went on there and we played CSGO together and it was intense and he messaged me on fucking Steam and I was all like what? How the hell is an alien messaging me on Steam? And then you will not believe it, he said like a spaceship had like major problems and I was like what? And he's like yeah. And these are found up on my roof, on my shed, he's all shriveled up. I'll show you the picture. Look, I found an alien on my roof, it's literally there. I posted it to X. That's a size comparison. Look, look at the alien on the roof. The wee guy looks like Beavis. So like Beavis and Butthead. If we go there, we can see. See, don't you think it looks like Beavis? The shriveled up alien. That's on X. Hey, I'm the great Iliano. I need TP for my alien bungalow. So that guy says, and he warned me, right, the little interdimensional alien that was on the roof. But then the government came and they took him away. They were like, oh, we're the men in black and we need to take it to the lab. And I'm like, like if we talk to about this, I'll kill you. And they're like, you won't kill me. You're the government, you suck. Because the government sucks. Remember, the government sucks. The government sucks, like, so badly. So anyway. So the alien was chilling there, and he was all like, saying, he's like, dude, do some research. And I'm like, do some research into what? And he's like, the end times. And I'm like, what are you talking about the end times? Right? And he goes, there's four main signs, or maybe five or six signs of the end times, okay? So I've got the first one. Big corporations, and I've got some important things I was looking into about this. It's very important, right? He said also reproduction and the bastardization of that. I've got another one written down here on my notes to remember to talk about it, right? I've got some satanic YouTube that this appeared to me. It appeared, right? It came on my on my YouTube account, and you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. And the third one is the increased prevalence of gang stalking in the communities. So first, we start with this, right? Uh, if you draw that Apple logo, right? So it's like a, a fruit, and it's, it's like... It's like this, right? It's got a bite out of it. The bite is taken out because it's the forbidden fruit. Like from the Bible, like from Adam and Eve in Genesis, right? When the snake, who is Satan, is the snake, is the serpent, says take a bite from the forbidden fruit, and now they use it as that. They use the symbolism of the forbidden fruit on their computers. Because they're satanic and they're rubbing it in your face. And even more compounding to this, okay, if we go on the, the Googleplex once again, have it saved here, 
The first Apple computer. This is going to zoom out. Come on. Six, six, six. Now everybody knows six, six, six is the mark of the beast. See, it's like this. I'm like Hebrew. Six, six, six. Right there. Satan. And it's well known that it was Steve Wozniak that picked that price. Now Wozniak belongs to a certain tribe of nose rubbers that live in the desert. And they are known to worship this satanic god called Moloch who sacrifices baby children. He looks like a bull. Right? And stuff like that is a sign of the end times to come. People are ignoring this. People are turning away from Christ and away from the other gods that are real. Right? Not those fake, like, Haji ones. I mean, like, the Norse ones. They're all real. Right? Then we have this thing. They are combining your semen with hamsters. The government is doing it. They're making a human hamster hybrid. Right? Look at this. Hamster, hamster zona free ovum test. Okay. Sperm are incubated with several hamster eggs. Right? And it's supposed to test for infertility. But everyone knows it's making a human hamster hybrid super soldiers that are going to take over the world. Right? And it all lights back. Right? The shriveled up alien on the roof told me about it. He was there, he was telling me, he's like, look out for the, the, the super soldiers, it's the end times, they're going to be using them in the battle with Christ and the Antichrist. The Antichrist will be using demons and half human, half hamster super killers that can chew through cables and stuff. And it will be like real, it will be actually be there and it will be a really insane. It will be quite unbelievable. Right? And after all this happened, right, after all this happened... I went on YouTube and here's a screenshot from it because I'm using my phone. I can't show you the phone because the screenshot's on my phone. So I sent it to my pal on Discord and he's, he like, wrote it back to me like this, right? Look. It's all just the same satanic garbage. It's just this satanic crap. And it appeared on my YouTube feed. Went on YouTube, look. Look at this. Satanic. Satanic, satanic. And this doesn't, this is nonsensical gibberish. This is literally... So for some reason this keeps stopping recording. Right, so there's this Satan, Satanic stuff there, look. Look, you can see that's like a mark of a beast and all that. Right. And this just appeared, it just came out of nowhere. It's literally the weirdest stuff ever, and it's all just the same Satanic garbage. All the same video, and it's just all recording, that's good, right. So it's all the same video, and it's just there, and it's intense, and then my phone's playing up. Right, because of their 5G. Okay, 5G, 5G is Satan. Okay, just, mm, it's, it's intense, it's so intense, right? And I was warned or foretold, right, by the alien. He's from an alternate dimension, okay? And he spoke to me, right? And my father died. He's like, I'm gonna go over here and see me. Is this still recording? Yes, it is. Good. And he said to me, he was like, Dude, Field Marshal, you need to like, that's not my real name, but I'm not telling you my real name. He knew my real name because he sucked it out of my brain. It's like, you're being stalked. And I'm like, being stalked? He's like, yeah, do you ever feel like out the corner of your eye, you see something and it's just a flash and it's gone? Do you ever feel like somebody's following you for no reason? And I remember somebody was following me for no reason. I'm walking down the street and this guy turns around and starts following me and I look at him and he runs away. That's a real thing that happened. I went back out to look for him and he disappeared. Where did he go? He phased out of our reality because he wasn't real. He was part of a satanic gang stalking ring. They can phase out of existence. It's still recording. Okay, good. They, right? It's like the Adjustment Bureau, that movie, the Adjustment Bureau. Okay, they can just kind of, and then they're somewhere else, and they use like this trans-dimensional portal, the same as the aliens use to get here, to abduct us. They, the gang stalkers, use the interdimensional portal to phase in and out of reality, to mess with your brain. Okay, to make you question reality, to make you think 
that the Antichrist isn't real and isn't coming. There isn't going to be one final war to end everything. It is the end times, okay? That's happening. So be warned, okay? Get prepping. Improve your third eye. Stop with this fluoride. Just improve your third eye. The third eye. The eye that's the third one. Astral project. Okay, take yourself to Zeta Reticuli in your dreams. Okay? I use my dreams to go somewhere else, but you know, I like the place where I go. It's pretty good. I'm not telling you. It's a secret. But um, anyway... Zeta Reticuli, Signal of Tavis, Signal of Tavis. That's how you say that. Where else? What's like from that movie? Signs or something. Oh, the signs, those were demons. Those weren't aliens. Those were demons. That's why you put the water on there. <laughs> so anyway, be warned. Right? Prepare for the imminent arrival of the Antichrist. I've been told this into my third eye. Right? It was right under my head. He told me. And he said it's true. Nah, I believe him. I believe the wee guy. He's in the government lab now. He's all shriveled up like Beavis. He's a shriveled up. Shriveled up Beavis. Anyway. Okay. See his letter.